Shiny. Christmas Island 2 by Segment 1, Zone 2. Nice. It is a really nice title screen. Tired? Sleepy? Fair. Three years have passed since your last mission on Christmas Island. The presents have been stolen again, and your job is to bring them back. Just want to sleep, but that's going to be impossible the next three hours? Because of fireworks and whatnot, or... Just not going to be tired enough. This is shiny. It kind of makes me want to play the first one. What if I ever did play the first one, Christmas Island thing? There are moles this way. Is that a... They're not green beans. Oh, that's cute. Sweet, sweet green bean bridge. What's up, Zeg? Oh. He said as he ran into a mole. Oh, hey, there are dragon coins, and I just noticed the big-ass dragon coin counter over there. Another green bean bridge, but it's a blue bean bridge now. Maybe it's a blueberry bridge. What's up, Luis? How you doing? Why are there still presents at after three years? Uh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. I don't know. Don't think I, I don't think I played the first one. Um, if I did play the first one, it would have been possibly before my my VOD system. Which made this kind of thing a lot easier. Alright, nice. Yeah, I think most of the Christmas ones I've played have been like Green Jerry's Christmas Hack. I think if there's any other ones. I've mostly done them for moderation purposes. I don't think I've ever like, said I'm just going to play a Christmas Hack for playing a Christmas Hack's sake. Except maybe way back 2019 when they had just played that one Christmas hack by oh what's his name just Keith went and like uh, went and made a huge enhancement set to it recently and I moderated that um, and apparently there's been another bug fix that he wanted to put out I don't know if it fixes the issue with the dragon coins shifting I think that there must be some sort of timing thing that isn't correct with regards to the SA1 and doing like right backs but I don't know exactly why. I kind of wonder if it's a similar thing with the um, the text, level text, not updating properly on SA1. But I think it has to do with how fast people are going, so it might not be the right assumption. I don't know why I just kind of drifted into that, that mole. Sometimes you just kind of drift into a mole. Pipe looks suspicious. I don't think I can get to it, but it sure looks suspicious. Okay. No moles this Oh, hey! What up? Lovely. I'll need that in a minute. Balls. Did it. Could have gone worse. Alright, need to test the midway now that I have all the dragon coins. What's up, Bunny Link? How are you? You're at the Y. I don't know what you're doing later. Fair. Yeah, Molly got me. Molly gets me all the time. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, you know? Woke up. Baked the last batch of cookies. Realized I only had three batches of cookies to bake. I probably should have just finished another one last night. Um, went with 14 minutes this time, which was better. The 11-minute ones didn't turn out right. Um, the 13-minute ones turned out okay. I think 14 minutes is the correct number with my oven. I just need to remember it for next time I actually, like, make cookies. Because I always forget and then default back to what the Toll House recipe says, which just doesn't work with my oven. And I know this, having cooked cookies in this oven a number of times, but I just always forget. Just can't avoid them all. Suffer the wrath of the Underminer. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, just a coin. Thirteen! Dragon coins save immediately once you collect them. Oh, nifty. Tomorrow is 2024. It's true. How are you doing, H-Corral? In 45 minutes. It's a bit longer for me. I have eight hours and change. Well, no, ten hours. Or nine hours and change. Math. Hi. I'm not currently home, but if you want, you can take the contents of this question block, block here. Joshi. Hi, Joshi. 
216? Yeah, that's where I'm at. 216. Ooh. He's been using that one song by, like, Reichsorp or whatever it is. I think. No, it's not. That's a different song. This is snazzy. I think what really makes this work is like the fade on the layer 3 effect as it's moving further up the screen, I think. Well. Or something. There's, a, there's some trickery going on here that I think I really like. It just looks... It's barely visible against the black background. It's really nice. Brain Lord Road to Droog. I have never played Brain Lord. Wait. If the track is by any account an indicator of its quality, it makes me want to. Hmm. It's worth the risk. It's a moon. Let's see, can we... I was right. Totally not ripped out of Cave Story. Recently ported two Gun Hazard tracks. Nice. Okay, I should have checked that pipe the first time around. Okay. Outer wall. Um, that's on one of those games I really should play at some point. I've heard so many good things about Cave Story and I've spent all of like five minutes of my life playing it. I think there might be fuzzies this way. Also... This... is a really weird obstacle to have right here. Made me th think there might be something up, but I guess there isn't. Waste of a fire flower, though. It's usually better to be on the lower tracks. Because it's easier to go up than go down. Then... Hmm. Wait. Well, I was right in some regards. But it worked out. Bonk. Well, I guess it's the Dragon Corn save. I can sandbag the moment I get to the midway, can't I? In retrospect... Sure, next year, you'll hear one of your ports in a hack you were involved in. First release used one of your ports was Super Luigi World 0 0.5. That's an odd number. Odd stream time, when did you see? I'm uh, just burning time today. Like, I'm gonna go and go hang around the neighborhood for uh, some New Year's stuff later, but like, I don't got anything else planned right now. I pretty much called everybody I need to and wished them a happy Christmas. Um, probably still, I need to still call my little sister, so I might call her later today. Uh, but oh, they're already busy doing something else, aren't they? They're doing some sort of, like, time travel jousting event. Or fight club thing. I forget exactly what their plot was. I just know that um, brother-in-law had already made a boffer out of a pool noodle. Which I think is absolutely hilarious. But it sounds like they're going to have a good time. Which is what really matters. Thanks for the good luck. How you doing, Fall Circus? Oh, no! Oh no, auto scroller. Yeah, I was thinking if I do play jump, I might have to bite the bullet and uh, do Mankey Bridge. Because the other options are unlock New Jersey. And, um, auto scrollers. <laughs> Make a one to one port of the unused fanfare from F6. I didn't know F6 had an unused fanfare. Today I learned. This was a smart move. Kind of a smart move. Okay, that's the pipe I went in, so this is all good. And the Dragon Coins did indeed save, so this is good. Well, half the time I'm spending in each level. Oh, I didn't check the blue... Oh, no. Um... Nope. Mistakes were made. Um, yeah. No, I just kind of felt like streaming. I think I did one around this kind of time last year, or last year. Last, uh, last month. 
basically I needed to burn some time before doing something in the evening, and this is a, as good of a way to spend it as anyway. I mean, honestly, what I probably would have done otherwise is play Slay the Spire again. I was having a lot of fun with the uh, Pharaoh Thorn character. Like, the custom characters in that game are just funny. But of course, if you don't get counter, you're kind of fucked. Like, you really need a good way to cause some pretty heavy damage to things, and the Pharaoh Thorn just does not get access to a lot of good attacks unless it's, like, Gyro Ball. This is not Pokemon, I want to stress. This is weird, Slay the Spire-inspired Pokemon. So the way it works is a wee bit different. Could you just fall off? Thank you. Was Brain Lord by Enix? I'm kinda wondering, because this track is a, indeed a banger. Hmm. <laughs> that worked. And I got the one up. Okay, big numbers. 40. Close. Slay the Pokemon. <laughs> That's what happens, have, has happened a few times. Mm. Not every ascent is successful. Also, I want to check something. Yeah, there's a cute indicator here. Oh, and you can see the ship crash. Oh, that's the purpose there. Cute. Merry New Year's, Fries. How you doing? Guess it'll be New Year's there very soon. Oh, I thought... Is there a hidden moon in every level? Hmm... I may need to revisit the first level again. That's not a rhetorical question, actually. If Seg, if you want to answer that, I would appreciate knowing if there's a moon in every level so I don't go and... spend a whole bunch of time tearing up a level that doesn't have a moon in it. Searching for the moon. Okay, I think I need to go that way. That pipe doesn't go anywhere. I see you, Buzzy Beetle type. Up. Every level except one has a moon. Oh, that's just mean. That means that means it could be anywhere. Also. You can come in via pipe. It's always worth checking. I love seeing those orange crystals. Oh, they're from someone else's, like, level set. I want to say, like, Gamma V made these or something. It wouldn't surprise me. But I don't know for sure. That one's pretty self-explanatory? Okay. So it's not one of those, like, we went and got three cows, painted the numbers, one, two, and four on them, and then released them inside of a public building kind of thing. It was apparently a classic prank back in the day. Gamma V did in fact make those. Oh, nice! It's always nice periodically to know that I can I can spot a given bit of resource usage. This is snazzy. See, this is what I want people to do more with the, uh, the spotlight, is use it to... Uh, Increase ambience instead of making it harder to see shit. It'd be so nice. Let's see. More? Nope. Probably couldn't ride those anywhere. Foreshadowing. Oh. Well, there's nothing down there. I'm glad we learned that lesson. Also, I kind of didn't want to go that way yet anyway. Not sure if that leap... I hate when you do that. You land right on it. Like, I feel like when it gives you that option, I probably should have gone immediately to the left. Did it spawn? I guess it didn't spawn. What's down here? A more different -er pipe. Yep. Good old can't see shit land. Nothing there, nothing there. Definitely leads me to believe that 
that was a secret path. Hello, dragon coin. I just don't want to die landing on a stupid beetle. That works too, I suppose. Down there is death, even if you clip. No clipping on. I wasn't planning on clipping. How you doing, Fedora? I guess, ultimately, oh, it's probably two different paths, given it's a red level. I just noticed that. you think I would have noticed that earlier. In fact, I'm in a better state now than what I was. Oh, except I didn't get the moon yet. Is that mate reset in the moons? I don't... I doubt the moons are counted anywhere. You <laughs> helped. Stream in a normal time? Yep. How you doing, Evil Ghost? It's a today special only. Well, probably some other day special, too. There'll probably be a relatively early stream next, uh, not this Thursday, but the next Thursday, assuming I can find the time and energy for it. And that the Wi-Fi in the hotel will let me. We'll see. But I won't know till then. There we go. It overwrote the dragon. My guess is it only saved the dragon coins to the uh, SRAM on level completion. Like, it shows it in the feed there, but I doubt it actually stores it to SRAM. Kind of the way, like, Jump does. Where, like, it flags it as saved on the world map, but it doesn't actually save it to your save until you save, if that makes sense. And you've set it up to autosave after every level, I'm guessing, because of the fact that I have a fire flower here. Check something? Alright. I will not stop you from checking things. He switch jump. Doing good. It's getting fairly cold out. Finally getting cold outside. Nice. Also ripping gun handed samples. Intend on submitting the sample section. Nice. This is pleasant. Eerily pleasant. I mean, it would be cool if, like, there were uh, multiple threads of these on different layers going past each other. That'd be so cool. Wait. This is fine. Keys respawn, because the game knows you're an idiot. Alright. Is this the secreter path? It's hard to tell. My guess is, however, that the dragon coins that I had are now saved. Which I could test. Hey, look, I clipped. That shell. Through the wall. I'm having some sprite spawning issues with those critters, but I'm also not unhappy about that. Reset every time you enter a slash exit a level. You mean save? Oh, it saves every time you enter slash exit a level. Dark mode. Okay. Alright, so now we're kind of back to that brand new territory. Does not help I'm playing on a projector during the day. I cannot, in fact, see shit. a bush. Oh, there was probably something down there. Hmm. I can come back. It's not a huge hazard. Exiting via start select also saves them. Interesting. Just think about it. It's usually been two... Surprise, it's three right now. Just before the midway. Yeah, there? Nope. Just kind of shy. Me. There is indeed lava down there. I keep finding the lava. It's not my favorite thing to find, but I'm very good at finding it. Also, I remembered that the block is right here. Ugh. 
Yep. What else? I mean, not a whole lot has changed since the last stream, given that I've mostly been asleep, and then I baked some cookies and ate breakfast. That's literally been my day. Oh, I took a shower. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. The game scrolls. Huh. That's not supposed to happen. I have a patch to actually make it so that it shouldn't scroll, so I presume that something Seg has done will override that. Okay. There's a pipe over here. And there's more level this way. I'm going for the pipe. That is a pro lava finder. It's true, it's one of my best skills. It's kind of like playing Soda Drinker Pro. Lava Finder Pro. And the protagonist of that game. I'm gonna get this because it'll make my life easier. Nuts! Struggling with making ASM stuff work. A lot of things like that don't even phase you anymore. Some things just gotta accept. Yeah. Well, the the scrolling thing is is definitely like I have patch. I have a patch that fixes that largely for me. It's odd to see it not working. So there's probably something else that's going on there. You've already used a different thing for it. Well, I got all the dragon coins. Got the moon. I guess we're done. Thirteen again. What's up, Zucati? How you doing? Oh yeah, I guess I could show for that again. The uh, QLDC Hack Jam is starting in a few days. Be there or don't. Those are your two options. Alright, let's try and find the moon. By Fruit Spike and Moon, I have to find it. The other ones weren't hard to find, so I'm kind of wondering here. Like, they were a little bit off the beaten path, but not immense... I think I know where it is. I think it's at the very end of the level, and I think I need a fire flower to get it. There was that really suspicious looking pipe that was probably, in fact, actually suspicious. Like, it was sitting in a field of these, though, so I kind of wonder if maybe it wasn't accessible. I have to check the pipe, or this pipe. One of these pipes goes somewhere. Like, I feel like there's gotta be. It's a little short enough that it doesn't matter. Okay, there is no power-up storage, which is interesting. Just confirming that fact is useful. It's in a pretty obvious spot once I remember. Hmm. Don't feel like doing anything? Taking a break from your hobbies? Absolutely! Yeah, taking a break from your hobbies is not the worst thing. Like, people get burnout in all sorts of categories. Your hobbies are, are no different in some regards. Gotta take a break, try something new, maybe. Take up, I don't know, rollerblading or something weird like that. Or Peruvian flute music. Listening or playing. I don't know, I'm just listing off weird possibilities. Learning to bowl by chucking the ball down the, uh down the lane, using only one hand. And giving it a massive amount of spin so it curves around. Here's where I thought it was. I don't think it is anymore. Hmm, it's obvious as I think about it. Hmm, it might be too obvious. Mongolian throat singing, that's an option. Just nothing at all, just doing nothing. That's also not a bad way to go, just chill. I find that chilling for too long generally just doesn't work and for me. I end up wanting to do something eventually. 
Usually I just pick something small to get started on, and then it kind of snowballs from there. And then suddenly it's 2 a.m. and I'm hacking on NES stuff. Or vice versa. Hey. Hmm. Obvious. Oh, the pipe. I've missed it four times now? That's impressively hidden in plain sight. Alright, so it's it's in the op it's not in one of the subworlds, because I thought it might be doing the same trick, having like a tiny knot rope around here. Feel guilty because you want to do stuff with no motivation, just watching Twitch and old movies. Honestly, I mean I'm gonna say like for at least for a little bit that's not a bad thing, but long term it's not ideal. Missed it four times, so it probably narrows it down to being left or right of that pipe. I would say if it persists longer, you might want to see someone about that. But I am not a psychiatrist, nor do I have very good advice on this front. Passed it four times? That's yellow. That's interesting, I guess. Were any of the other ones yellow? Oh, this one's yellow. I think I'm massively overthinking this. Hey, I froze it. <laughs> hmm. Should be pick it up. Not in the mindset. Yeah, I'll take a hint. Making shit usually hyper focused. It does sound kind of like ADHD, kind of. I'm not out. Like I said, usually I just start with something small and that just gets me enough into getting focused to work on something. Even if it's not like an important thing, like cleaning up some code comments or something. Like little steps. It is, in fact, in one of the sub levels. Jumpers. Maybe I can get him to jump up here. Oh! Pfft. Yep. It was, in fact, kind of obvious. I suddenly started doing Kaizo level thinking, and that was bad. Alright, got moons in all of those. I guess we'll try this path first. Aw, oh, like the, the bouncy trees. Just noticed them. Getting started is really hard. HDHD? Yeah. I did, in fact, get the moon, at least. Yeah, sometimes I just do the dishes and that kind of jolts me into wanting to do things. Like I said, I, what works for me may not work for other people. That, but that's how I deal. I do the dishes. Which reminds me, I need to do the dishes after this. <laughs> having made cookies, I need, I need to clean up mo some of the stuff from having made cookies. Like, the pot that's full of... Well, not full of anymore. Mostly empty, but has some cookie batter residue in it. The aluminum sheet pan. I really need a second aluminum sheet pan. My cookie process is way too slow due to lack of a second aluminum sheet pan. Ain't like half sheets are expensive either. I just need to go get one. Or acquiesce and purchase one on Amazon because it's easier to do than go to the uh, restaurant supply store. Zero dishes. And zero motivation. Wrote lyrics to your songs, and that's something. Small victories. I was gonna go get another block, but this one works. There we go. So I'm also on the lookout for a moon now. I'll take a fire flower, though. That is worth it. This is one of the two songs composed to this hack. Oh, interesting. I thought it sounded unique. 
at least new to me. Did uh, you compose it, or did someone else? Okay, that is what I thought it was. Hmm. I thought that might be like a moon hidden. What? How was that? I guess that was like a mushroom behind that. It just looked weird. This track's picked up. This uh, track's picked up its energy. I'm digging it. Was there a midway? I hit a mid. I did hit a midway. Right. I can, in fact, sandbag now. You can pose both of them. Nice. I'm digging this track. Good underwater tracks are hard to find. There was not a midway. I imagined the whole thing. Eh, it won't be the first time. Did I check this pipe? Nuts. What's up, Boozy? How you doing? Level has no midway. Well, doesn't that explain it? Good luck and Happy New Year's. Oh, thanks. Merry New Year! To you too. That was silly. It's one of my favorite bits of trading places, is the Merry New Year scene. Along with all of the other bizarro nonsense going on. The phony baloney beef jerky. No more Irish whiskey and certainly no more Swedish meatballs. If you've never seen Trading Places, it's an excellent movie. Uh, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Eddie Murphy plays kind of a scumbag. Poor dude. Dan Aykroyd plays, you know, a Harvard graduate who is a commodities broker. And uh, Dan Aykroyd's boss decides, you know, it'd be cool. What if we had them trade places to prove nature versus nurture? So, hilarity ensues. They frame Dan Aykroyd for selling kids PCP. It's something of a Christmassy movie, because there is Christmas, and there's something of a New Year's-y movie, because there's... No, that was the thing I needed to do. But it's just kind of a fun movie. Ah, crap. You can't really duck when you're swimming. Samples of insanity. Intriguing. Alright, well, into the pipe. Ah, uh, nuts! Didn't find the moon. Nah, 30. I guess that's an indicator that the yellow switch palace is this way? There's a lot of interesting indicator things. How often duck swing would be? How often you have to press down? I bet. Ooh, the crossing paths. That's why the throw blocks are there. I kind of wondered about that. I kind of wondered. I like the diamonds. We'll go and get the moon in the other level after this. So it's one of these levels. <laughs> Where once you hit the switch... Wait, so there's a door and a switch? It's a reset door. Okay. But it looks like you can come back here possibly after the switch. Interesting. <laughs> I love it. Okay. No! The power of the switch you have pushed will turn the dotted yellow blocks into the filled yellow blocks. Good job. I feel edified. Yeah, I thumped indeed. It was a failure all around. I'm gonna guess that one didn't have... Didn't have a moon. At least I hope it didn't. Because I don't remember seeing any surface area to allow moon, unless... You said two levels. Okay, cool. Oh, right. I want to go back to Overgrown Depths. Moon 
I'm searching. Okay. Theory, I didn't even try. Nope. Gotta think this one through. Is there any spot where I could have gotten under the level? Yes. Um... I'm gonna guess this wasn't the intended solution. I'm gonna assume, in fact, that this is not what you're supposed to do, and so I've come all the way back. I'm just gonna start select so I can have the mushroom. Good theory, might add an update, but yeah, I just remembered this level doesn't have a moon. Oh, this level? The underwater level? So the underwater level does not have a moon, and the Yellow Switch Palace does not have a moon. Is that correct? Those two specific levels. And the switch. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't go nuts trying to find it. Let's keep rolling. Is the counter working? Double check. The counter is not working. Is the command for that? It's fine. Um... Started. What? Check something. Oh, it started SNES game. It didn't start SMW Gamma. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. That explains a few things. Luigi World Fought 1.5 is a prequel to the first one, which was rejected. Yeah, so what probably happened here is uh, Seg changed the game name in the header to something that isn't... Um, oh no. To something that isn't SMW. And because I didn't notice that, it just kind of went with it. So I'll have to deal with that later, but whatever. It's not a hard problem to fix. Lock the hack. Yeah, that would do it. The original was too close to the uh, vanilla. Okay, I could see that. I want a fire flower so I can melt all these blocks. Like that one. That's clearly an interesting block to melt. Come on, walk. Oh, that works too. Convenient that the fire f brother was guarding a fire flower. Kuskoomba decided to remake it. Nice. So that means I'll see it in the queue eventually. I didn't even notice that. It's not very common I see, like, locked hacks. Like, I probably would have applied SMW Gamma earlier. I guess I can do it now. Eh, it won't hurt anything. Have original levels. If you end up disappearing for a few minutes, thanks in advance for... It's SA1. Watering so quickly. Yeah! I saw it in the queue this morning. I'm like, oh, this looks cute. And then I just saw your note. So... There we go. Moving back on. I don't think I saw the Koopa die. I wasn't paying attention, unfortunately. But yeah, it's been fun so far. I mean, it's not a very long hack. I think it was, what, eight exits and I'm six in? So, presumably after that, it will be over. Which will be sad. But that's how hacks are. They take up the time they take and then they're gone. Kind of want to turn him into Luigi just for the hell of it now. Up there. Oh, I still have to find the uh, dragon coin. Or moon. So glad you were here, Seg, to tell me that the moon wasn't in that level. That was like the sound I wanted to hear, just different. The original Super uh, Luigi World was cancelled because it was very broken. It happens. 
I've definitely run into people who have worked on things and like, no, we had to throw it all away because it stopped working with Lunar Magic and tried to upgrade to a newer version. And I think Apple Boy ran into that problem with the first Apple Boy game, the first Apple Boy hack. Didn't even see him. Oh, he says he's found a way to round it now, like, so we can re-edit a couple of things. So it was like there were some really small things with moderation that would be would have been nice to fix, but I don't think that he ended up fixing it because it got stuck. I think I found, like, a really minor soft lock or something silly. A silly soft lock. Those are different than the really dangerous ones. Of course, you're making a Kaizo thing just... Make it so people can start select out of the level at any point in time, and that solves your softlock problems. It makes moderating a lot easier. But yeah. Other reason, I looked at the length of the queue and I'm like, C3's around the corner. We have 25 things in the tank queue. Oh, hey, there's the moon. Hooray! That was easy. Glad I went the way I did. It was a fire bro. Ah, uh, using Pixie caused the game to crash or set up. That would do it. It's all Sockloft problems except for Invictus. How does a Invictus break it? What did just do? Ah. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. Okay, it broke. Oh, it's doing this. Th this this is not Seg's fault. This is my fault. Sometimes when loading characters, it destroys some of the AX animation stuff. Um, I don't really know why. I thought I fixed that. It only happens on SA1 now, I think. I think it has to do with the region being remapped in SA1. Um, but I can't exactly prove it. That's a solid block, I think. I might need to reset after dying. That's how that ends. Chemic fight, hard locks to save if you quit during the- Oh, that's you. Impressively bad, actually. In all of the wrong ways. Apparently you can start selecting out of that without having beaten it. Don't use SA1. I mean, it's not a bad policy to keep. Um, like, SA1 gives you some nice things, but with an awful lot more difficulty to work with. Certain things just are not going to work out well. Whereas, if you stick with just fast drum, you get a lot of benefits without needing to have all the extra headache. Now, some things won't work without SA1, just in case you're, like, really compute-bound, but... Ah. Was a... Where was the spot I was going? Die. It completely space. I may have completely spaced. None of this is what I want. Um. Hmm. So much harder to look at those and think there's something dangerous when they're yellow stripes. Like, intellectually, I know those are dangerous, but not, not viscerally. That was right here. Okay, so I can't go through that, so I guess... I hate snow bros. I am going to beat the level, then I'm going to leave and come back. Nor do you use no more sprite tile mix. Yo, she says... Yushu Fanatic says he doesn't need SA1. That's fair. The no more sprite tile limits generally just fixes things that are busted, I found. An awful lot of people place things in the wrong spots. Alright. I have to reset this because it's destroyed that, and that's bad. And I can't see what I'm doing far too frequently. Okay. Snow Bros make Mario stare at you. Yep. But sometimes it does more than make Mario stare at you. Sometimes it kills you. Which is weird. 
either way, I guess since I have the energy, at some point this week I'm gonna investigate, finally, why I'm destroying EX Animation. Partly because now I have Mesen for the, uh... For Mac OS, which makes investigating things so much easier. Like, I made my jump patch to do character swapping in like a few minutes and tested it in MSN and it was broken and then fixed it and it was so fast. I just looked at the stack and I'm like, oh yeah, it's not going to RTL to the right place because there's garbage on the stack. I guess I'll fix that. One of those, it's really obvious in retrospect kind of things. given that the first thing the function does is push an effective address. Boing. Boing. No! Alright, well at least I can go see what that block is now. That block is... a block that cannot be destroyed by jumping that way. Probably contains something and you come up that way. Okay. Yeah, mess N2. Yes, mess N2. On my computer, it still says mess N, but it's the same thing. Turn on ads. Uh, people should just learn to read spite memory settings in OAM slot. OAM slot? Probably. You're probably not wrong. But most people aren't going to go to that effort, Max. Especially newbies. Project report you did was the fastest moderated thing. Prayer the, to the road that leads. Huh. Congratulations. What do the music queue has been doing recently? Speaking of seg, I suppose. <laughs> okay, good. It went poof. What? Nothing in my way. Good enough. Perfect. It was just good, good at assembly. Oh, I want that. I don't think it's important, but I want it. <laughs> so utterly pointless. And. Heard no more sprite title and it causes slowdown. I mean, it's going to cause some slowdown, but like that's it, because it's doing more different or stuff. Speaking of which, I guess there's a uh, interesting patch that just came out recently. That was embarrassing. That um, reduces the amount of time it takes for the score to be printed to the screen, which apparently is a not insubstantial amount of time. Might be worth looking into if you're doing some hacking and want some headroom. Ooh, I like fences. <laughs> yeah, the one that optimizes the score display. Like showed up in Super Mario Broth, and people, were, someone was like, "I'm just gonna go make this better." probably just changes it all to use BCD or something. Which is the same way about doing things like score counters. There we go. Got the piece, which... I just need to not die to anything stupid while I do this. There we go. Got my last moon. Now I'm down here. Not sure I wanted to be down here. I guess that was the way forward. I may have screwed it up because there was probably more I needed to see. I guess after we do this, I'll have to take the other path. I did not think that through. I appreciate the constant indicators. The tile stop drawing rarely will matter on whether or not it's on your screen. I mean, I find... Hmm. 
Yeah, I find that it's mostly around, like, maces and things. Things have a lot of tiles involved when moderating. In retrospect. Alright, I'm gonna reset because I want to check the other hot side of that thing. I screw that up, but it's just gonna be faster to do that. Very New Year. That's how that's gonna finish. Did I not save? I didn't save. That's eminently frustrating. Probably my fault somehow, but eminently frustrating. Probably should not have turned on SMW Gamma. This just made everything a worse. It's just made everything kind of worse. The most terrifying thing, Snow Bro. I'd say it's because I start selected, but no, I beat the- Oh, I beat the level, but then the save screen never came up. That would be why. I'm already hosed. I think I'm already hosed. Yeah, I'm already hosed. Encountered Frappe Snowland. Oh, isn't that a Mario Kart level? I don't think so. Stupid mole. Apparently, holding on to power ups is my biggest weakness this today. Just today. As it so happens. Okay. That and landing on things that I don't exist. Poor decisions are being made. Let's see what else. I guess after I beat this, I need to do a little stretch break thing to go and finish up dealing with cookies. Because they're currently sitting out and I really should put them away. Into the baggies. Gonna go give out some cookies, hopefully, so I don't eat all of them. I like baking, but the fundamental problem is when you bake something, you end up eating it. That's not a great way to maintain one's waistline. Oh, I was so close. I didn't even need to jump into him. You stop being dumb. I also realized last night, after the fact, what I could have done with dealing with the uh, the fire rod or whatever. I could have just gotten two, taken a hit, and then gone for it. The downside of this plan is I need to be careful to make sure to use it immediately. But it would have worked, and would have taken substantially less time than what I ended up doing. First, we kill everything. Bake something and eat it as opposed to baking something and just throwing it in the garbage. I mean, in general, if I'm going to bake something, I want to share it with people. But yes, I suppose that's also an option, just throw it in the garbage. I don't know if people do that, but it's an option. You can never star a Chuck to death. Or you can never get a 1-up from killing Chucks. It just doesn't work. I'm certainly people who are doing, like, extensive, like, test baking probably do throw away a non-trivial amount of their product. Just because, you know, it... When you're baking that much, you can't eat all of it. You probably can't find people to give it away too easily. 
Like, when I was learning to make cookies extensively, I ended up, like, making a batch a week for a while. Which is a lot of cookies. And if I, you know, couldn't voice them off on, like, D&D, my D&D friends, I probably would have continued to do my cookie baking. Alright, so there literally was nothing over here. Except a more easy way to get up right here. Which I didn't even consider. Go. I was really hoping for the P-switch jump there. It doesn't matter. Midway's right here. So basically all I did was waste a lot of time by checking something that actually was not remotely in existence. Huzzah! The music is from? Um, Seg said there were two unique compositions for this hack. It's possible this is one of them. The, one of them was in the water level, and I don't know if he told me where the other one was. Actually, I don't think he told me where the other one was. Oh, well played. No! I wasn't even looking at it. I'm looking at the slammers. I can definitely see this being one of the originals. Seg is a, in case you didn't know, Seg is a music moderator on SMW Central in addition to being an accomplished uh, porter person and otherwise composer of SNES tunes. One of the reasons I suspect he has the moderating job is he knows his way around add music with various letters attached to it. All the songs are made by composer, by a composer, but not, not by con composer. Some of them are made by coin poser. Too busy making a dumb joke. You see it? Not gonna give you this time, Sag. Alright, who am I gonna face in this dastardly room? It's. Oh. It's like Iggy. Bye, Iggy. Okay. And the platform disappears. This was, in fact, in the submission notes, so I think I'm okay with that. That's weird. Oh, we got the present! The present is saying thank you! That's a little terrifying, really. I wouldn't like my presence to start talking to me. With the destruction of Iggy's fortress, the residents of the island can once again celebrate Christmas in peace. Mario has succeeded in retrieving the presents and can finally relax. Hooray for Mario! All right, well, I found the moons, I found the coins, I did all the things. There were no coins in this level. Um, there's no credit, uh, there's no credit level, so let me check that. Let me download this and make sure there's credits, because that's the only thing I could possibly reject this for. There's no bugs that I saw, there's no slowdown, like, it's a T-crossed, I-dotted sort of game. Check. Christmas. Um, it's, it was a fitting end. Um, yep. Graphics by a lot of people. ASM by a lot of people, including Donuts, Yoshikuki Zeus, Kevin, Russian Man, or Russia Man. Oh, the, the uh, music tracks are actually named here. It's kind of cool. Ross Bearing Tyranny is probably the, the name of the uh, the music for the castle there. Married <laughs> Revolution. Uh, favorite part of Vanilla SMW is when you beat a boss and the game tells you that son of a bitch Ludwig is dead and rotting in hell. Anyway, Mario goes the cookie fun land. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of like blow up the castle and go for it. And he goes the cookie fun land. It is a fantastic tonal shift, isn't it? Alright. Well, this track is good too. I'm going to get up for a minute. Oh. It's coming back to say it's officially 2024 over here. Nice! Happy New Year! But tasty, yes. <laughs> Dangerous, but tasty, Chocolate Island. Uh, yep, yeah, I finished up. Uh, yep, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go hit the Approve button. So I found nothing. You have credits. I didn't see them in the game, but I did see them in there. In the zip file, so all is good in Christmas Town. Bam. 
but one of these shorter submissions to uh, approval ones that weren't a like trivial change like oops I misspelled something in my readme. I like Circle Friendo, how you doing? All the castle text was written in Super Mario Advance 2. Huh. Yeah, I have, still haven't played that. I don't like playing GBA games. Maybe one day. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna get up. Can we do Christmas Doom now? How was moderation? Excellent! I just approved Seg's hack. Like, literally, this moment. This is a really fun little Christmas hack. Definitely put it on the, the list of, of good hacks to play. It's not long. And a good chunk of the time I spent was doing silly moderation things, but it's good. I would recommend playing it if you just want something light and airy on Christmas. And the music's good, the graphics are good, the present's good. It's just good. Play it. 